What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die single player. Let's play this episode 15, and I've just been doing some work down here. We're going to go on a treasure hunt today, but before we go, I want to show you the work I've been doing down here. I've got four forges here, four campfires. I've basically laid out the entire part of the way the room's going to go. I just don't know where I want to put my sleeping bag. I don't really like it where it is. I'm going to have to find a place for that. Maybe, I don't know. But um, I went ahead and made a bunch of tools. I went ahead and made myself a hunting knife. I read one of the treasure maps. I've got a steel shovel on me. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I put some uh, stuff over here. Uh, to try and organize some of my chests. And uh, yeah, I've done some organizing. We'll go over that later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat some of this. And that should put us in pretty good spirits for the rest of the day day i think we're ready i can't think of anything else we want to do i made a spike club i made two spike clubs and put them together to get a 342 um i also went ahead and all right check out this pickaxe see how this pickaxe is getting low basically when it gets low enough to uh, when i want to repair it i'm gonna take this pickaxe and i'm gonna combine them like so i might actually repair this pickaxe before i do it as well um because if this thing's like got more durability, I'll get even a higher. Not only will it repair this all the way without losing durability, but it'll actually uh, raise the. I mean, without losing quality, but it'll actually raise the quality. Um, I'm still gonna wait for the green one to get down a little bit lower before I do that. Okay, and uh, I think we. Ra oh, I also went ahead and made a new steel fire axe. Okay, let's get going. The treasure chest is down here. I've got an area marked right here on the map. We're going to kind of try and stay on the road as much as we can on the way to the treasure map. I'd like to get one, if not both. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get both treasure maps and visit the trader today. But I will cut up the video enough so what will happen is um, we'll get to the trader today. For no matter what. The uh, name of the episode will be Two Treasure Chests and a Trader. Something like that. I'm not even going to do anything else because we are on a mission and that guy just went down to spikes. Awesome. All right, guys, we're back. And this damn thing is out in the middle of the water. It's kind of annoying, uh, but, you know, what are you going to do? I got to I gotta get it, so it's going to be a pain. It doesn't look like it's in, like, deep water, so I'm thinking I, I'll probably be able to get it. But, you know, we'll see. And for those of you who keep telling me not to park my mini bike on these platforms, stop. I lost a mini bike last season in well, I lost a mini bike in Alpha 14. I was I'm not sure if it was during a let's play or if it was during a stream, but I know for a fact I had a mini bike la uh sometime during Alpha 14 and I put it I left it on the ground and I came back and it was gone. And then I DM mode uh which basically no clipped into the ground and um I found it underground. So uh, you know, it's not really man, this is going to be a, Oh, never mind, it's right there. I thought it was going to be impossible to find. It's not buried. It counts the water, I guess. So this is actually a really easy one. Oh, nice. Silver, gold, and diamonds. I would have liked to got some dukes. Um, I don't know what that silver, gold, and diamonds is worth. But whatever. I mean, hey, better than the last one I got, right? And uh, I can't really complain what I didn't even have to dig for it. But anyway, at some point in Alpha 14, I don't remember when, but I know I lost a mini bike that glitched underground. Um, so, you know, maybe I don't have to use these platforms. I'm, 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 I'm willing to concede that fact. I might not need to use these platforms. Um, I don't care. I'm not taking the chance. It's just the way it's going to be for me. All right. So let's go ahead and read this one and accept and, um, 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 okay. Over there. So we should probably just head right back to town. Oh boy. Dog horde. Oh, thank. Oh my goodness, thank God we're on this thing. Honestly, it shouldn't be too much of a problem, but well, let's fight him. The hell with it. Let's do this. Oh God, this is a bad idea. Oh, never mind. He's just gonna run around in a circle. Cool. All right, you punk-ass freaking mutts. Totally forgot it's Dog Horde. I don't even pay attention to Dog Horde Day, to be perfectly honest. Oh, my goodness. Where is it? See, I might turn on airdrops. Um, you know what? I should, probably get, I should probably go for that. I might turn on the airdrop locator thing. Basically, for those of you who don't know, there's, a, like, a locator in the game that will, like, make airdrops show up on your compass. And, like, I always thought it was kind of lame and, like, kind of 
you know, not cheating. It's not cheating, but I thought it was making getting airdrops too easy. But the fact of the matter is, airdrops are like almost impossible to get now because you can never see the damn things. You know, on the you can never see the things because you're always behind a mountain range. So I'm think I'm rethinking that I might put airdrop markers on. What do you guys think? Would you would you think that'd be too lame or? I mean, otherwise, like, these airdrops are behind mountains. I'm never going to really get them much. See, I didn't I didn't even see where that... Yeah, I had no chance of getting that. See? I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I might do it. I might not. I really don't care. Honestly, airdrops aren't that great anyway, but... Or they haven't been good to me, at least. <laughs> uh, but, you know, when they keep dropping behind these mountains, you know, like... Oh, boy. I've gotten myself into a little bit of a pickle here. Let me see how I'm going to get down from here. Uh, this looks manageable, kind of. I'm not even, I don't even have my hands on the gas right now. So, oh yeah, it's going to bring, bring me right back to the road. That's fine. Oh boy, this one's in the, uh, brr, 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 brr. it's, it's mighty cold here in the snow biome. So, we're going to dig this sucker up. Uh, let's zoom in. Alright, let's just start right here. Alright, guys, here we are. Alright, give me some dukes. 7,000 dukes, I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, so we got everything we needed now. Um, we ended up with 7,000 dukes, 3 gold nuggets, 2 diamonds, 18 silver. I don't know what that's worth, but it is what it is. We're going to go home. Basically, what I'm going to do... You know what? Let's kill some of these guys for some more loot. We got the time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go home, and I'm going to spend the night at home and just chill. And then we are going to go to the trader the next day. But for now, we're going to kill some of these guys for more loot. Because, just so you guys know, um, the best loot in the game is in the snow biome. Even better... like The zombies in the snow biome drop even better stuff than the zombies in the, in the, uh, the hub city, which is kind of, you know messed up um yeah this is some really nice stuff in this biome and when you're here oop, what's that is that potassium nitrate yes we should set up a mine in here this is not a big snow biome though but it might be worth it i, I don't know maybe i kind of want to find a big snow biome although it doesn't look like i have big snow biomes around me because i the potassium nitrate is generally found in snow biomes underground uh, at bedrock. So, let's break some of these up. Ah, oh, I can't one-shot these yet? Damn it. Yeah, we gotta continue working on tools and... And Miner 69 and all that stuff. Because we gotta be able to one-shot those boulders. Am I dropping stuff? I am. Uh, we don't... Well, actually, we might need some dirt. We don't need destroyed stone. There we go. We don't have any room for lead on us in case we get lead, do we? Uh, we don't need a green shirt. We don't need six plant fibers. These these boulders right here on the surface are pretty much the best the best way to get pretty much everything in the game. It's the best way to get stone. It's the best way to get coal. It's the best way to get nitrate. So I'm just going to mine some of these. Um, Alright, let's pause the video now. I'm going to go home, spend the night off camera. Tomorrow we will go to the trader. Get hyped. Alright guys, see you in the morning. Okay, long night. Um, I did not hit a lot of my drop-off chests uh, during the night because a lot of them are pretty far away. Um, but I did go to the the place where I parked my mini bike and hit that drop-off chest and everything in my mini bike. And this is everything I have to sell right here in my inventory. I do not like the short shotgun. I will never use it. I don't like pistols. I will never use them. Uh, so this is what I got to sell. By the way, hazmat stuff is worth a lot. These green hazmat pants are 345 freaking uh, dukes, man. It's pretty sweet. This shotgun right here, 582 dukes? Yeah. Yeah. I'm debating whether I want to put any points into barter uh, before I start the barter. <laughs> Dog. Um, I don't know. I, You know, I'm going to get barter points as we go, but it might make some sense to put some in there now. I don't know. I've got a lot of drop-off chests around the world. I think after the 21-day horde, I am going to take a day or two and hit every chest around the world and really try and bring as much stuff back as I can because it's getting a little bit much. I also have my silver, gold, and a little, few more things in here to sell. Actually, I could probably carry just about everything if I put these in here. 
There we go. All right, let's take a look on the map where this clown is. He's this way. He's really far. Which way am I pointing? Yeah, this way. Okay. All right, he's really far. Uh, I'm not sure how I want to get there. Uh, I do kind of want to stay on roads, though. So let's get going, man. This is going to be a long trip. Long trip. Depending on how hard, how long it takes to get there, I might have to stay there for the day. I do have plenty of gas for my bike. Um, I'm going to start making some repair kits because i got to repair this damn thing, too. I also got to hit my farm when I come back. Um, when I come back, it's going to be all 21-day horde prep. Um, I'm going to get all my guns ready. Uh, for the most part, it's mostly guns. Got to replace some spikes. Got to get my guns ready. Um, debating if I want to put any more spikes around that base. Um... I don't know. I'm going to think about that. It's going to depend on how much time we have, I guess. Uh, so, yeah. I also got some gunpowder being made. I've got a lot of brass. Uh, when I go to the trader, I am looking for high-end gun parts. Or low-end gun parts. Honestly, any end gun parts. I'm looking for gun parts, period. And uh, I think we will actually put some points in the barter skill. Because uh, one of the problems is in this game when you... Well, I don't know. Maybe I won't put any points in the barter scale. One of the problems in this game is when you when you repair guns, even with max skills, you still lose some durability. So I'm going to want gunsmithing to be maxed um, before day 21. I'm probably going to have to put, pump a lot of points into it. Actually, before we go any farther, let's see if any of these books that give us gunsmithing, like the pistol book. So we should read that. That gives us miscellaneous crafting. I don't care about that. That gives us weapon smithing. I don't care about that. That gives us science. I don't care about that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're looking for gun parts. Um, shotgun barrels. Uh, I'm also looking for other guns. Guns that shoot the regular bullets, not just shotgun shells. Uh, now that I have calipers and I have a good amount of brass, I'm looking for magnums and sniper rifles. I want cop killers. And those are magnum and sniper rifles. Yes, I know the hunting rifle is an awesome gun. I'm not disputing that, but... I like the sniper rifle better, so I'm going to wait for a sniper rifle. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so should I... Nah. I'm not stopping for deer or anything. I'm just going to go through. I've got actually a stack and a half of freaking food. Uh, because when I made that trip to get those... Uh, to get the... The treasure chests, I stopped for like every animal pretty much. And like slaughtered them all. So, yeah, I got a lot of food. Alright, man. This is where I've traveled so far, and it looks like this is going to take us right into the trader. Hopefully, this terrain is just... The terrain is just amazing. I love the distant terrain in this game. I'm not a big graphics whore, but when I see good graphics, man, I appreciate them. And I don't expect them in these early access indie games, but man, this um, just blows my mind. And they're actually going to be changing this, too. Um, I don't know, I kind of like it the way it is. Uh, it's not very realistic, but man, is it awesome. Now we're coming into some flat area. Is that a coal node over there? Oh, we got a bit of a town over here. Let's check out this node over here. If this is a coal node, I'm going to grab it. I've actually got way more potassium nitrate at home than I do coal. So I'm not going out of my way to look for coal, but you know what? If we got it, we got it. Let's go ahead and make some room. Yeah, let's grab it. I, have, I think I have like three, four, five hundred more potassium nitrate than I do coal. Also, gunpowder is another thing I'm looking for at the trader. Got a little bit of a mini town here. You know what? If there's a workbench in there, I should probably grab it. The thing is, I don't want to deal with the freaking zombies. They're going to slow me down. Let's, um, let's go for it. I think we can get in there and get it before they know it hit them. Oh, you know what? There might not be one in here. Yeah. Oh, there is. Okay, never mind. I done spoke too soon. You know what? I'm going for the... I'm going for this as well. I'm out of here. Later. Later, gator. Oh, hazmat zombies. Okay. Never mind. We're going for it. I'm going to leave my bike here. You guys better pray this thing doesn't fall through. The world. Because if these guys drop hazmat stuff, guess what? It's going to be worth a lot of dough. Although these are minor zombies, so I guess not, but... 
Who knows what they'll drop. They're just slaughtering the freaking boss. Alright, what you got for me? Oh yeah, nail gun parts. Oh god, calipers? We're close enough to the, uh... Jesus. These guys are definitely worth killing. We are close enough to the traitor while I, where I feel okay doing all this. And we've got plenty of time. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning. I will take that torch, thank you very much. We're not going to cut them up, though. I probably should. It wouldn't take that long. Oh boy, okay, we're getting... What did I pick up? Did I pick that up? Uh, known, leather working. You know what, that's worth it. I don't need a bike lock because that's for... That's for like multiplayer, so people can't break into your stuff. I don't really care about that shirt. Did I miss any loot? Because these guys are dropping some awesome loot. Let's go ahead and scrap that. Uh, let's look around, make sure we're not about to get jumped. We are. Uh, is there anything else I can scrap or get rid of? Um, what kind of boots do I have? Oh yeah, those are better boots than what I have. The thing is, if I save these boots, I can use them to repair these, so I kind of want to save them. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Should I do a drop-off chest? Nah, let's just get out of here, man. We got, we got work to do. Oh, I really don't want to leave this stuff here. Alright, so let's do this. And honestly, we there's nothing we can do. Let's just, well, you know what we can do? We can use some gas. Whoops. I've been meaning to fill this thing up anyway. There we go. Now we could probably take apart some of these guys. Oh, by the way, I had a machete. So yeah, there's that. Nail some chicks challenge. I like to wait until the last minute to do these. Uh, what am I going to get from these? I need two spots. I need bones. And I'm going to have to get rid of something. I have to. Um, I don't want to get rid of anything. I don't want to put a drop-off chest. Uh, what about a shirt? Oh, I like the Zombie U shirt, though. Mm. Uh, does the shirt matter? Like, the quality of the shirt doesn't matter. I'm keeping the Zombie U shirt. We'll scrap that just because... Actually, don't scrap it. Just get rid of it. Alright, guys. This, uh, this traitor is kind of off the beaten path here. <laughs> I had to come like off the road. Um, it looks like the it looks like the, he has like a little small road that kind of gets him to the main road over here. Let's just let's just take a look. Yeah, you see right there, that's the small road that goes up and over the mountain. There's no way this there's no way anyone's gonna get over that road. See, I do like the way random gen looks, but yeah, it's still got some major problems. Oh, is this the road? Yeah, this is the road. This comes down, and it looks like it stops. Or maybe it keeps going over that way. I'm not really sure. Oh, here's the main road. Yeah, the main road's over there, so you'd never get there like that. It's just, you know, it's not going to happen. All right, let me do my thing. I know you guys hate this, but it is what it is. We're about to go make some damn money. Right? 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 I hope so. Alright, we're gonna take these and put them down. Oh god, that that um that shadow scared the shit out of me. Woo! Alright, let's go see what we got. Knock knock. KG's here. Ready to wheel and deal. What's up, bro? Ah, I've been expecting you. Oh you have, huh? Now, should I put points in barter or not? I say no. Sell. Sell. Oh, my barter's going up as I'm selling. The first one was 100, the next one was 106, 103, That's and this one was 106. Stranger. But my barter skill didn't go up, though. It just... At least I don't think it went up. Barter. No, it didn't go up, but it got closer to 1. So it doesn't have to go up a whole point for you to get more more money for it. See? The stuff that was selling for 100 is now selling for 106. 109. 
113. 120. I'm going to save that to repair the purple one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to save that. Buy these? No. Buy bones? No. Buy these. 1,000. Uh, now, here's the thing. Does my barter go up based on the amount of money I sell, or does it go up per transaction? That Actually, you know what? That's a really good question. All right, so we're level two. We're basically a little hair away from level three. So let's see about how much experience we get for selling one of these things. All right, so that got us a level. And it looks like, you know, it got us basically this much of a level. So let's sell five of them and see what that does. All right, so. Okay, it does, it goes, it, your barter skill goes up based on how much money it is, or I don't think it's how many items it is, I think it's how much money you get for the transaction, which is the way it should work. So I should get a whole level off this easy. Actually, I should have got a couple levels off that. Yeah, it looks like, didn't get as, yeah, almost two full levels off that. What do you see, friend? You buy chests? No. All right, pistol. Pistol. Yeah, there's no point in putting points in barter skill right now. Buy that. Buy that. We're at 10,000. Sell that. How much you need? Pay for some money for calipers. Be, I'll be damned if I'm going to sell calipers, though. Uh, How much do you pay for a 600 bow? Okay, you won't buy the bow. Interesting. Machete sells for a good amount. Okay. Okay. I'm going to keep that puffer jacket. That's my... You know, that's my, I'm trying to stay warm jacket. How much for all this wood? 85? Yeah, you're ridiculous. Right, let's go get some more stuff. And let's uh, let's finish this up. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. Our brother skills at 9 already, you know. I'll probably put some points in it eventually. But not right now. I'm assuming as you level up, it'll level up slower and slower each time. You know, you make deals. What does a workbench sell for? Yeah, 271. That's not worth it. Not even close. All right, we're going to put stuff we're not going to sell back in here. Definitely that puffer coat. That never should have left. Uh, you want to sell barrels? I do have a lot of gas, but... Eh. Selling these barrels is really playing with fire. <laughs> you know, because if I ever need gas again, then, you know, I just screwed myself over. Can I sell his own burning barrels to him? Let's see what it'll buy. Let's see what it'll pay for a, a burning barrel. By the way, these um, these rental machines. If you rent these, um, supposedly you can. It doesn't say how much it is to rent. Supposedly this will sell to NPCs like invisible people, and you can make some money off it. But I also heard it's not working. So, so be it. Take your time. You take your time. Look at that. This, when I was selling these sledgehammers, they were 100. Now they're 174. I've almost doubled the amount of stuff he'll, he'll buy for. I should have got mad levels now. off that. Yeah, level 12 already. Oops. Pistol. Burning barrel 4. Ugh, whatever. Just get out of my inventory. Sell. Sell. Is he out of money? Why can't I sell that? No, really. Why can't... Does he not buy... No, he bought a... He bought a, an, an incomplete pistol earlier? Why wouldn't he buy that? That's kind of weird. I'm going to have to look into that. Maybe I didn't sell an incomplete pistol. I thought I did. Oh, he's not buying stuff anymore. What's up? Was that more... He, is he out of money? Did, did they run out of money, guys? He might have run out of money. He'll restock in 57 minutes. Um, I guess that's one day. I guess he restocks every day. Okay, I didn't notice what it was saying at the bottom. When I go to sell it to him, it says not interested in that item. Why not? Is he just arbitrarily picking what he... Like, why would he not be interested in that item? Does the game just, like, randomly not be interested in certain items? Or, like, what's up with that? That's kind of weird. But, like, will he, will he ever be interested in it? Should I bring it back again later? How's he not interested in a pistol? He already bought one. Maybe he's got too many. 
Maybe he's got too many. All right, let me see what I want to buy. Okay, there's a few gun parts I want to buy. Um, uh, the magnum frame, possibly. I don't remember what kind of magnums, magnum parts I have back at home. And I'm kind of looking at gun parts here. Um, honestly, I don't really see anything I want as far as gun parts go, which is kind of a bummer. That is kind of a bummer. Yeah, I don't really see much here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to buy all the gunpowder. We're going to buy all the bullet casings. We're going to buy the magnum rounds. That's a lot of money for 16 magnum rounds. I don't think so. We're going to buy the tasting and brewing book. We're going to go ahead and read that now. Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh, we're going to buy the... Do I... I don't really know that. I probably can't do it because I'm in a transaction. We're going to buy the hop seeds. We are going to buy... All right, hold on. Uh, hunting knife, grain alcohol. No, I don't really, I don't really care about any of that stuff. Um, fertilizer? That's really expensive for... No, get out of here with that. Nitrate powder? Honestly, I would normally get the... Well, I should probably get it anyway. It's actually a little... It's pretty cheap. Now, shale is really cheap. How much shale does it take for gas? I'm going to actually leave the shale alone. For now. Uh, bucket, lead. We should probably buy the lead. Lead's not that hard to get, though. Bullet tips might be good. That's a lot of money for bullet tips, though. Um... Actually, I'm a cowboy. All oh, right, this stuff all looks like garbage. Not really garbage, just stuff I'm not really interested in. Duct tape. Eh. Meh. Okay, that's all the stuff I was selling to him. All right, we're going to go to his secret stash and look what he's got here. He does have brass. We're going to buy all that. He's got mechanical parts. Might as well buy those. Right? We do need a lot of those, right? I'm pretty sure. Steel pickaxe, nah. Buckshot, 894 for 45. Nah, I can craft that. Paper, paper might be going. By the by the way, he is selling a workbench, which is interesting. Um, paper, is that pretty cheap? Oh god, that's really cheap. Let's just buy that. I don't need a mining helmet. I don't need a chassis. I don't need crappy night vision goggles. All right, so let's go back to his main one here. We're gonna buy the frame. Even if I already have the frame, I can always use this to repair it later on by combining them. So, either way, it's worth it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need for that. Um, yeah, no, I think that's pretty good. I'm getting hot, damn it. I forgot to bring my poncho. Anything else? Oh, no, I don't care about pistols. Um, I don't care about shotguns. I don't. I know the hunting rifle's a good gun, I just don't like it. Yeah, no, there's nothing else here I really want. Let's get the frame. Okay, and we've got 1,300 dukes left. So, what did we get? We got 200 lumps of coal, 150... Well, we got... No, 60 lumps of coal, 150 nitrate. We got some mechanical parts. We got a gun part. We got the uh, brewing book. We got hop seeds. Uh, we got some brass. You know. We got some paper, some uh, some bullet casings. It's an, It was an okay run. He doesn't really have that much, to be honest. He's barely got anything I really want Thanks now. For shopping here. I... I hear I hear that certain um, certain traders have certain things, and uh, which kind of sucks because I hear Trader Bob is not uh, like one of the good traders. So it is what it is. I mean, we could probably go along the world and look for another trader, but God, that could take forever. You know, the fun pimps want us to go exploring the world, but who the hell who the hell's got time to explore the world, man? Like. We got seven day hordes bearing down on us every seven, obviously seven days. Um, we don't have time to explore the world. I could take some of this stuff apart for parts, but I'm not going to because we're pretty much at the end of the video. Well, I could do that off camera actually. Maybe I will do that before I go home. I'm just not going to do it on video because you don't need to see me taking apart parts. Like, what's the point? I'm just kind of exploring here before the end of the video. Nothing in there. Nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing, 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 nothing. There we go, no, 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 no. I will be taking a part of that stuff. Let's uh, look in here really quick before we call the video. Oh, okay. Okay, I do think I want to loot this. Don't have a lot of room in my inventory, unfortunately. But I should have more room in my 
in my bike. Okay. Uh, ugh. I don't really need this stuff. <laughs> oh, well, at least I can get my scavenging skill up. Alright, let's look upstairs. I'll take all that part off camera. Oh, that's nice. Armor smithing. I'll get the armor smithing up. Oh, that sells for 223. So these are already things have already doubled in price of what they sell for for me. Um, I'm gonna sell that. What is my bartering skill? 22 already. That's one trip. And I didn't even bring nowhere near all my stuff because I still have so much other things in drop-off chests. Uh, I don't have anything for that. Let's just finish this up. Hopefully be done soon so I can go back, take that apart. All right, guys, I'm going to take some stuff apart, go back home. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool video. So I'm going to call this one here. That's going to be it for episode 15. We'll see you next time for episode 16. Until then, take it easy.